Hello world, this is the Rovarian and welcome to Age of Empires 4. You guys apparently enjoyed a lot the challenge to defeat the easy AI the fastest way possible. As this is one of my most appreciated videos so far, I thought, yeah, if my viewers like it, why not make a second part of it? Why not make even a small series out of it? Uh, so the logical next step, we try the very same with the intermediate AI and see if you already have a different outcome compared to the easy one. Um, so we will have the very same setup. We will have a micro map size on Dry Arabia. We will play against the Daily Sultanate to be able to compare the results. Um, what's a little inconvenient for the direct comparison to the easy AI is that now the, the winter 2021 update has come out for Age of Empires 4 and uh, the balancing has been updated. So that might affect our results a little, but we won't find out because we don't do a comparison before and after, uh, just so you guys know. Um, with that known, yeah. Like in uh, versus the easy AI, I'll play it with every civilization. So we start with the English and then go on in order as they appear here. So English, Chinese, French, and so on. And I will lock the times. And in the end, we will see the winner. And we will also have a short comparison versus the times and the order of the easy AI test. With that said, you guys know everything that's to know, and we will start right away with the English. And there we go. Over here, good. Much to that. Um, I won't show the, the the full strategy like I did versus the the easy AI. Um, there with the English, I made quite a a long part in the very beginning to also see the guys of you are not who are not that familiar with Age of Empires to also give you guys a chance to catch up. Um, if you want to see the strategy shown in slow, then I would recommend you that video. I will also put it in the card for you and uh, also to the video description. So you can check it out there. Okay, then you go back. Now focus on what I'm doing here. Uh, yeah, quite fucking up already, I would say. Hey, 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 hey. Too much talking, too much talking. Thinking of a restart, actually. Um, on the other hand, shit happens. Good, talking of the council hall, there it is. And there is the Feudal Age as well. That already means we have to destroy at least one more building. But it's easy AI, we only had to destroy the town center and that was it. Um, and we need another house. Double broad axe. Go. And then we need siege engineering. Come on. Let's gamble, that should be enough. Yeah. Okay, enough gold. Okay, we need wood, my friends. Okay, you can go, go, go. Yeah, you can go too. You can already start. Okay. Bam. Okay, this should all be stunned. Yeah. Okay, good. Well done. Yeah, one more. 
Okay, that will burn down. Not much longer. And... 11.13. I'm waiting for the AI has been eliminated sign. When that pops up, then I check the time. So 11.13 with the English. That's the first marker. That's so faster than others. Then in the Easy AI challenge, we managed to finish off uh, the Easy AI with some civilizations. Run number two, the Chinese. There we go. Thinking if we should try something with the Imperial. Official, but probably not. Okay, and also with the Chinese, we will go for archers. Just so you know. That's the plan. Okay, we go with the Barbican of the Sun. We can build that here even. Okay. Um, question is what first? Let's still say double broad X. For the PF siege engineering, but we don't have the wood. And then what do we have? And now would be a good time to be ready. Thank you. Okay, third ram is ready soon. No. Okay, done with you. Done with you. And you guys too. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Okay, another one. Oh my god, the wayfinding. And 11.10. Repeat the English with Chinese. So yeah, you can also do it with Chinese. Only slightly slower with Chinese than versus easier, actually. Number three, the French. Me being house seems to be a thing in that run. Can't wait for the Mongols. Our tactics with the French will be a little different this time. Um, also to give some variation and to show how how strong it actually is in comparison, because I'm also curious. We will go for the early night. For sure, not fully, because I mean, we will also need the rams. So the plan is to also recruit like five spearmen or something. Um, like some support, but otherwise that shall be it. That means we need more gold, more food and not as much wood. Um, only to build the barracks then actually and recruit five spammen. So like 250 wood. Okay. Then that's done. Pool of cavalry. Nobody wants that. Thank you. Um, what we want is a house. Is there a point in researching double broadex actually? Yeah, for the rams, for the rams. And we start building battering rams here. We can already start arresting here. Okay. Doesn't look too bad so far. No, nine minutes, nine minutes. Would you? Thank you. 
Yeah, close to the others. But not as fast. 11.23. For the French. Slowest so far. And now, time for the Holy Roman Empire. Let's see if I manage to build, to recruit the prelate right away. Or if we need a restart. Yes, first win, I did it. The time for the fist of the winner in that case had to be used. I think it's the first time that I don't restart the match with the Holy Roman Empire. And the inspiring with the uh, prelates should work correctly now. They fix that, that if they are pushed around, um, they keep inspiring. I think we also saw that effect uh, last time. Last time in the in the Easy AI series, because at some point that the prelate didn't do his job. If I remember it correctly, at least. Yeah, we leave one here and then... We will be boosted here anyway. Yeah. I think we can even place the guy here. Set up. Are you inspiring? Not really. That guy is inspiring. That guy isn't. Okay, if you're buggy again, then... Go here. Um, element arms, yes. yes. They ta also take longer to recruit. That's a little bit an issue. Okay, the gold we have. We also wanted some spam, and I mean, it was necessary anyway. They don't stand any chance. Go. And 11, 19. 11, 19. All of them very similar so far, actually. So, very, very close. Half time. Take five, the Mongols. I won't be housed. Don't want an idle town center. Okay. Um, this town. Wood income is crazy. Bam, 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 bam. Okay, bye bye. Um, okay, another double production. And we also have double products. Okay, good, good, good. Next ram. Uh, yeah. You are allowed to defend yourselves. For sure, only allowed. It's not mandatory. And then. And then. Okay, one more ram. It's possible. Nope. I don't think so. No. 11 11. Oh, yeah. Everything very, very, very close together so far. Number six the Ruse. Here again. And we need a house. Oh, sure. I'm, I'm immediately housed again. I mean, it's good that, uh, at least in Age of Empires 5, I mean, it keeps producing what you are currently producing. Basically, the gold that we collected now, oh yeah, was already for the next age. Um, um, Kremlin, let's say here. Okay, so the gold we should get from the hunting cabin that hunting cabin that should be fine um barracks 
At least I can construct now fast. Because we already have quite a mess. And they will also have the upgrade soon. Yeah, you can start annoying here. Draw their attention. Uh, you are recruiting more. But again, not going great with the ruse and the rush. We have a lot, a lot of resources. I mean, that's that's something. Also, we have a lot of rams right now. But the speed is not great. 11.43. The slowest. But also not, not very far away. I mean... Not as far away as we had it versus the easy AI, for example. Okay, guys. Next. Daily versus the daily. And there we go. Okay, yeah, population cap reached. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, yeah, the research times for the uh, early ages have been adapted. So they should be faster now. And now we don't have the gold to recruit the scholar and then we can also wait for the Dome of Faith uh, to recruit the scholars cheaper. And to barracks. One to research, one to recruit. Um, then code wise we should be done. Come on, come on, not right. Don't know what's going on here, I mean fist fight. But they don't have any chance. But they are like, yeah, why not? Let's try whatever. But the daily will be the first ones over the 12 minute mark. And 12.08. Oh, right, still in comparison, not as bad as it could have been. But also one minute slower than the best so far. The Chinese, I'm still very surprised by that. But, okay. And now, run number eight, the last one, Abbasid Dynasty, the favorite, going on to it. I even think of the house, because the check House of Wisdom was 50. I should not forget to build this. Otherwise, we don't go to the next era. Military units on the way. And then we can even start with the first rams as soon as we have the wood and we build the first ram under six minutes okay now they are hardened we build the third ram while the other two are incoming that almost works out perfectly i have the impression i know who wins just from the timing that we see so far There is the Dome of Faith. We build a fifth ram. And we are still under 10. No, go, go, go. Just uh, knock it down and we will stay under 10. Be a winner. Stays like this. 947. Under 10 minutes. So the order changed. The winner doesn't. Abbasid collect the win versus Intermediate AI. They're still the fastest to bring them down. Then let's go over to the 
comparison. Okay, guys, this brings us to the final result. On the left side, you see the results that we had from the Easy AI try. And on the right side, also with a green heading, the new values from our intermediate session right now. The winner stays the same. It's the Abbasid Dynasty. Uh, around about 50, no, actually 49 sec uh, seconds here yeah, slower because you have to uh, destroy an additional building. On the second place, we have a change. The Chinese uh, are there. They have been fifth in the Easy AI Challenge, but they only are 20 seconds slower than that. So um, absolutely, they didn't lose that much time and therefore they ranked up quite some. With the Mongols, we achieved the third place. Just one second slower than the Chinese, but also one minute 11 slower than versus the Easy AI. Um, then next are the English, 11.13. Also, they are around about one minute slower in comparison. Then the Holy Roman Empire on fifth place. They win one place also in the order because they only got slower by 30 seconds, not even. 28 seconds, so they took it better than, for example, the French on the sixth place. They also lost, uh, in comparison, one minute and eight seconds uh, against the run versus the easy AI, and therefore dropped from fourth to sixth place here now. But yeah, all very close. Um, the places two up until six are within 13 seconds, so. With all of these, it's possible quite decent to rush. And the Abbasid in comparison are 1 minute 23 faster. That's a lot. And then on 7th and 8th place, there are nothing changed. It's still the Rus and the Daily. What changed? They are much closer now, timing-wise, to the others. The Rus only 14 seconds slower, slower than was the Easy AI and only 20 seconds slower now than the French in the intermediate run. And also the daily only lost 12 seconds in comparison to the run before. So there it looks better versus the intermediate than versus the easy AI. So they benefit already a little bit more from their later technologies, let's say. Guys, with that comparison, I want to thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you like it as much as the easy AI video and if you do please subscribe leave a like leave me a comment tell me also other ideas i mean right now in my mind is for sure we can do the same thing in the comparison also versus hard ai and then versus hardest ai if i manage with all of them to beat the hardest ai first let's see if i get to that level with every civilization um, but that's definitely a target. Um, if you have other ideas, also let me know. And now it's time to wish you all a great day and bye-bye.